So today I am in Ybor City, Tampa, Florida. And for those of you who follow my Voices from Cosa Nostra Mafia series, you may know that Ybor City historically was the hub of operations for the Tampa Cosa Nostra family, otherwise known as the Trafficante crime family, which is now defunct. However, that is not why I am here today. I am here today to show you guys something that I've driven by probably a hundred times and have never stopped to check out. So I figured I'd check it out for the first time with you. And that is a park that is dedicated to the fallen heroes of 9-11, a memorial park that honors the first responders who lost their lives on that tragic day. Now, I will not get into the hows and the whys, the politics behind, you know, what occurred. Just here to show you the park and uh, honor the first responders who no doubt were heroes. Now, they have two fountains that I believe stay empty. I don't think these hold water. Um, that represent the foundations of each Trade Center building. This one is in memory of World Trade Center 1. And uh, all the walls surrounding the perimeter of this little park all have sayings. Of course, this saying, we will never forget, will always be linked to the date of 9-11. And here is the fountain for World Trade Center 2, which is the reason why I wanted to stop and show you guys this park. It has life-size statues of the heroes running into the fire, putting their lives on the line to save lives. And in the process, many of these men and women lost their lives trying to do what they were sworn to do, to serve and protect. And boy, did they honor their oath. As, as I said, many lost their lives. But this also has the largest relic from the Trade Center tragedy that I've ever seen. It is a massive I-beam, structural I-beam that came from Trade Center 2. So, I mean, just imagine, I mean, this thing is massive, the weight of it, just the weight of the debris coming down and the damage of infrastructure below, not only the debris falling on innocent people below, but just the infrastructure damage to the streets, the sidewalks, you know, the shift that created, you know, foundational damage on surrounding buildings. Obviously, another building came down. It's just uh, unbelievable, absolutely unbelievable. But I just wanna show this to you a little closer. So we step in here, if you look at the how they molded this, it's pretty clever, because this is kind of what you would expect to see in the debris below. I mean, you, a tire, you know, probably from a crushed car, you know, an office phone, all bits of miscellaneous debris and the dirt you know nuts and bolts and obviously you know other structural pieces and that's what they have as the foundation holding up that massive massive pe structural piece now I have a small piece of the Trade Center myself it is some of the iron that was taken and molded into a memorial plaque. Very, very small compared to this. But, uh, you know, it's a very cool piece that I 
keep on my bookshelf in my office because look, no matter what your beliefs are of the hows and the whys behind 9-11, there is zero argument that these men and women who served to protect their community and the people of their community, no matter, you know, 100% did their job that day to do what they were sworn to do. And so many of these heroes lost their lives. And that's utterly tragic, as well as the countless hundreds upon hundreds of people who, uh, you know, just uh, went to work and uh, never came home. Very, very sad. Very sad. So anyway, just wanted to show you guys the park.